a very long time since I played this, but I basically got caught up in playing everything else. There's a quest over there I want to get, but I'll get it later. Because we're finally going to go see Corinne at the Golden Sturgeon. Where is she? Upstairs. Where's the, uh... Here it is. Corinne, where are you? Is it through here? Ah, hello. And you look like you're dressed for something else. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I think... Mm, a powerful, powerful memory. First met, wasn't very powerful. He didn't give a shit about her. Training at Kermor, that's powerful. So it's out of these. But I, th I think I'm gonna have to go when she, with when she, with when I died because Siri actually created a whole fucking island and revived me. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. Gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. Oh! Oh, let's just throw everything in. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stega Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please do. Ciri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? One more thing. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. 
I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. I didn't mention any abilities. But I shall tell you because we need to be truthful in order to get a full picture of where she is. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Uh, yeah, if I can. I want to make sure we get a clear picture. There's something else. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? One more little thing. Basically, Siri hops between worlds. Yeah, there's something else. If she like crosses dimensions. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. It really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Bedtime. Is she knitting? This is meant to be like a tremendous ritual and she's Knitting. Oh shit. Hello, dandelion. That's it. Oh, the bird represents Siri. The bird represents Siri. I get it. So, I'm assuming that Siri did meet dandelion. The hell? <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. Symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? 
Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Thank you. And the lion inherited a brothel. So oh. Prepared. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. You and me both, love. You and me both. So, in that case, we better get over to Dandelion's brothel. I may... Yeah, I think I'm going to go grab that quest that I saw over the way. Around here. What quest is this? Hello. You. You have a quest. If this is of no... It, if this is of no importance, I shall skip it, and I'll see you over at the Rosemary in time. So, in case you're wondering what that was all about, basically, it was a dude who wanted to go and get his uh, wife a black pearl from Skellige. That's it, and I'll probably do that when I eventually get over there. But that might take a while, considering all things, and uh, how freaking long it might take me to get there. Whoa! A green, a green chest. I haven't seen a green chest before. I want it. I want it. It's mine. Gimme. Let's go on inside. Oh, the door's locked. Well, that put a stopper right on that adventure. Zoltan! Yes! Oh my god, I remember you. I... Jesus Christ. Next time, <laughs> rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> he's gonna open the door again and just be like, Oh, hello. No, he's not, but I will. Wow, if this is uh, a brothel, it's a. Uh... Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. Wasn't it going more than a moment? Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. And it looks like they're back. All right. Time for some spring cleaning. Oh, yes. To put them all out. Care to join me? As always, it will be a pleasure. But first, I, I need to make sure that I don't die. Uh, oh, I'm not allowed to equip. Oh, my God. I can't remember how to fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I completely forgotten how to fight. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm sorry for the shoddy quality of my fighting. I didn't realise I'd become that bad. Hey Zoltan, you look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But Ten. What'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. Why? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just her return that you saw. I'm expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. <laughs> Dandelion gone. The tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. 
Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. I concur. Right, let's go searching. I need. I just need to practice. <laughs> Aha, a note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. Right. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Get out, pal. What the hell was he reading? Hmm. What? Uh, what did I just do? Oh, I cast Gwen. It's all good. Right. Honestly, what's in the chest? Oh, I can put in. Ah, I can put important stuff here. I'm gonna put all the armor that I'd like to keep in here. You know, like the, the all, all the old armor, like the relics and stuff. Stuff that uh, it'll be nice to keep. Ha huh? It'd be nice to keep a hand on, so to say. Completely botched that sentence. Don't bother me. Ignore me for a moment. Completely wrecking what I'm saying. Right, I'll look at the red book in a second because otherwise I won't be able to explore the rest of the place. Oh my god. This is what happens when you play other games and then come back to an RPG. You're completely lost. And you're stuck it. And you're stuck by a post! The faculty of Oxenford University is honoured to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Wait, so Dandelion has that weird name. <laughs> Lol. Right. Yeah, it's time to look at the book. Let's look at the book. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! I don't get it. It says planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning. Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Ah. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Read Dandelion's Planner. Wrong button. Rosa Vartare Rosa Vartare Like a rose abashed to its crimson hue Fair Rosa would sink into humour's blue She shunned her lessons in civility To swing her dwarf with agility Charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf So that's the location Molly 
Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not strawing, gripping and lost embraced. Oh god. Dandelion, what are you doing? Gildorf Villa next to the morgue. Vespula. Though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? <laughs> what? Far corners, laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. Marabella. Though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. Amazing. Elihal. A figure most rare, her, natu her nature door. <laughs> Fuck it. A figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes, or be made a full tailor shop. Cross and look. The tannery, not the laundry. I've got. <laughs> I can't speak today. Cannot speak to save myself. Why is, why is this all coming up? Let's make these on me. No. Right, so that was that. I think we should look. Talk to Zoltan. We'll talk to Zoltan in a second, but first I want to check around upstairs. There could be something up here, but mainly I just want to snoop. And loot! Loot, 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 loot! Because looting is the greatest thing that we can ever do. <laughs> it's not entirely legal, stealing, but it's allowed. If you're, a clept if you're a kleptomaniac, this game is perfect for you. If you don't know what a kleptomaniac is, it's someone who collects everything they can. So if you're looking for a loot simulator 2015, this is what you're after. Anything else? I'm getting a lot of beer and spirits, so I'll eventually just sell them all and make some money because I've got quite a lot I haven't got a lot I spent most of it on making armor because I'm looking at creating all of the gr um, all of the different schools of armor like griffin I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing an enhanced griffin vest right now I think uh, I've got a feline sword ready and a griffin silver s and a griffin steel sword yeah I think yeah I think that's right so when I can once I'm level 18 I'll be able to Use both of those. That's a dead end. Oh god. I'm lost. No, I'm not. Here we go. Up here. Oh. I'll take a butter knife. I'll just drop it later on, but there's shit all up there. Let's head back downstairs and talk to Zoltan. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. <laughs> Let's ask about all of them. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace. She shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. She took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. She did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the range of their cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Shit, I'm just. Re oh my god. The thing about Chris. When Zoltan just said Christian and Anastasia, he meant Christian and Anastasia. As in Fifty Shades of Grey. That's, that's a clever Fifty Shades of Grey reference. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here because the video's gone on for. A long time as it is. 
what I'm going to do is we'll go through all of these names next episode. Okay? So, in that case, I'll see you all next time.